Hello everyone, my name is Savannah Kepley and I am a middle school language arts teacher and I'm here to share some tips with you. Things that you can prep this summer that will help you prepare for the school year. And it will help you make your school year really smooth and calm and that kind of thing. Um, so it's just a couple of little things that you can do. Doesn't take a lot of time, but putting the little effort in now is going to have big payoffs at the end. So tip number one was to create the roadmap, and you can, I'm going to link that video down below if you want to see that. Tip number two was all about um, solidifying your classroom management plan. And tip number three, it's all about how are you going to communicate with parents. So just take a little bit of time this summer to be like, what do I think is going to work best for me? Well, number one, we need to think communicating with parents is like super important, right? We want them on our side. We want them to know what's going on. So if you do have any issues in the future, you can be like, hey, I sent this out. You're on board. You knew this kind of thing. And the parents start to feel like they have a relationship with you. And a relationship and a connection to what's going on in the classroom. Just taking a few minutes every week to email or do whatever to parents, however you want to send it out, is super beneficial. So let's talk about what I do and then maybe you can get some tips from that. So I've as a 20 year teacher, I think I've done it all. I used to create these cute little newsletters, printed them on color paper and sent them out. Well as you know, I, I found them in the hallways, found them in the trash can. Very rarely did they make them home. So then I would switch to sending it out via email, the PDF, and, and that worked a little bit. But a lot of times parents weren't opening the attachment. And I get it. It's hard, right? I, I don't know if you have a child in a thousand activities. It's super hard to um, keep on top of everything. I don't want to click open the attachment and look at the cute PDF. I get it. Then I switched from not communicating that way at all to just using Remind, which was okay, but I was just sending out um, updates about things that are happening in the class, like due dates and that kind of thing. It wasn't really like, it didn't really have a lot of meat to it. So then I have switched to kind of going back to email, but not with the PDF. So I have found, again, with the PDF, parents aren't opening it. So I just put it right in the body of the email. And I have a template that I use, and I just fill it in every week. So I write them on Friday, and then I schedule it to send out on Sunday. You can schedule in Gmail to send emails out. So if you write it on Friday, get it done, and then schedule it. It doesn't look, you don't have to do it over the weekend and it's already done, but it's sending out right before the week starts. So what do I put in this email? So all I put is what we're working on in class, and then underneath that, I put important dates, items that are coming up. I'll show it to you in just a minute. And then underneath that, and this is, I think, how you can get parents to open up the email. Because parents want to see if their child's being celebrated for something. So what I do is I put a couple little shout outs. Like, shout out to Amelia for a great um, presentation on her project. Or shout out to Mason because he grew 30 points on his assessment. Those kind of things. So I send that out. I put that in the email. So that way parents parents are like, oh, did my child get a shout out? Let me open the email. It gives them a little more incentive to open the email. And then after that, um, I put any links that they need to know for school, like general things that are coming up, any links like to ball game tickets or anything like that. And then that's it. Short, sweet, to the point. Send it out every week. Parents feel like they're involved. They know what's going on. And you're also celebrating students as well. Let me show you the template. It's really easy. You can just copy it and paste it into your email. So this is it. It's nothing dramatic or exciting or fancy, but it works. It's really short and sweet to the point. Here's the update for the week. What's happening? Important dates. Shout outs. Let me know if you have any questions. Signing off. That's it. I think parents appreciate it. That, literally, that is it. I like the highlighted sections because it draws the parents' eyes really quick. And then I always put, if you have any questions, just hit reply. And you can email me back. Sometimes I get questions. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on what's coming up. And that is it.
that is all that I do. Having this template there makes life a lot easier. Copy, paste it in on Friday, quickly fill in what we're doing for the week, schedule it to go out on Sunday. It takes you about five minutes, but you build a lot of points with parents this way. All right, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm gonna put this email template down in the description for you. So you can just, you know, copy and paste it as well into your email if that's something that you would like to do. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to come back with another little quick tip, something that you can do this summer to help you prepare, prepare and plan for your school year so it starts off on the right foot. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.